Hi, I'm Lexi Sedidis at CES 2014 taking a first look at the brand new Nikon D3300. Now this is an upgrade to Nikon's entry level SLR line and on the outside it looks pretty consistent with all of the other entry level D3000 style models that you're probably used to seeing. On the inside however, Nikon has upgraded the sensor, it's now a 24.2 megapixel DX sensor without the anti-aliasing filter. So it brings it into line with cameras like the D7100 which also don't have that filter and it probably ensures that you're going to get sharper, clearer photos like we've seen on those higher end models. Elsewhere, you're also getting a high ISO range all the way up to 25,600 and there is a boost to the continuous shooting speed so you're now able to shoot up to 5 frames a second which is pretty impressive for an entry level SLR. Elsewhere, you're also getting a brand new kit lens. Nikon has finally upgraded the 18 to 55. You're not getting any expansion to the aperture range, however, but it's all about the design. Instead, now, rather than just rotating the zoom lens, it now actually pops out and rotates back into the camera body fully, so it's nice and flush and a lot smaller than the previous kit lens. All up, the package is going to cost you $649 in the US. I'm Lexi Savides for CNET. This has been a first look at the Nikon D3300.